dark meat turkey that he rolled around a beautiful mushroom stuffing. He is gonna show us how he rolls, rolls. Uh, for Thanksgiving by doing a rolled turkey, yes. yes? Thanksgiving, my personal favorite holiday. No religious boundaries and we all have something to be thankful for. That's but right. I will tell you, we don't, we don't enjoy turkey enough. Thanksgiving, everybody eats turkey and loves it. I yeah. think we should be eating turkey all year round. My favorite part of the turkey is the dark meat, the leg and the thigh, so we're gonna show you how to make a nice roulade. Swapping your mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, which are my favorite. You can do a beautiful brown. mixture of you mushrooms. You can do whatever kind of mushrooms you want. Brown them once they're brown a little bit, deglaze a little bit of white wine. Delightful. Always nice. Evaporate the white wine, get rid of all the alcohol content, make sure it's nice. Always season everything above with a little salt pepper, and then a ton. Of time. And I mean a ton wow. of fresh thyme. See what we turned this into? Beautiful. Right? And then you finally chop it. It's almost similar, like a to a, duck cell. similar to a duck cell, yes. right? Which is a mushroom filling. But what we don't want is it be too pasty, right? See, leave some integrity, leave some character, if you will. So what are we doing now? We are going to debone this leg and thigh into one piece, being very careful. He's trying to use, you have to have a very sharp knife to yes. do this. You can ask your butcher to do it for you as yes. well if you're not proficient with a boning knife. Yes. You want a nice sharp tip and you're following the edge of the bone. You're yes. separating bone from the meat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you cooking for a lot of people this year? I'm always cooking for a lot of people. When do we not cook for a lot of people? Um, but do, do you spend any of the day in the restaurants or are you at home? I usually prep a lot in the restaurants, but I do like to be home for the holidays. I think my How job wonderful. my job is tough enough to not be home on Thanksgiving with my family. I can't do it. So do me a favor, we kill that. Oprah. Sure. Oprah. Just she, <laughs> Oprah! <laughs> Oprah, would you just not stand there for crying? She's scared line? to go near the flame. She's wearing paper. <laughs> So with a chef knife or a cleaver. See what we did there? I can't wait for people at home to be trying this one. Uh, Maybe just actually, ask your butcher to debone yes. it for you. I know, by the way, that does look hard. It does look pretty easy. <laughs> and just to show you how easy it is. <laughs> we even went ahead and made ahead of time. So you can see. Boom. Ooh. There you what go. You, what you want to do is remove all the tendons and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't get in the way of cooking. Now what do we do now? We always You got roll your bird. Season, season. Season, season. A little bit of mustard. Yeah. Ton of flavor. A lot mm. of mustard. Add some flavor into that. Don't be afraid. We had more of that fresh thyme. Yeah, we got more of that fresh thyme. Okay. And then we're gonna take some of that mushroom mixture. And we're gonna make that nice roulade filling. Right. Mm. And, you and how much meat do you tell people to prepare per pound, chef? I, I've been sold a pound. Like per person. Pound, pound per person. A pound per person, right? Yes. Because once it shrinks a little when it cooks, right. and everybody wants a leftover. And there's a lot of bone, so it's tough. And I'm always the more the merrier when it comes to this kind of stuff. Now, do you do this to the dark meat and then cook the breast separately? I do. I, I'm not a fan of the whole roasted bird. I think it's No, the, neither am I, because it's they like cook it two book. different times. Right. right. The meat doesn't cook properly. I know it looks great when you bring that beautiful bird out to the table with the stuffing coming out, but mm -hmm. it's, just not, it's just not realistic. It's okay? not. Your dark meat is not going to be cooked, and your white meat's going to be overcooked. Oh. So I think it's pretty. I'm a big fan of frying. You could throw it on your barbecue outside or your smoker. Yeah, we usually do one smoked bird and one roasted bird. To me, Thanksgiving is all about the five Fs. Family, the five Fs. family oh, food, friends, frying, and football. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to a few days ahead of time, even freeze them and have them in the freezer and pull them out anytime you want when it's not Thanksgiving. And we've got a couple stuff back yep. here. Here, I'll drop the oven down for you. You can throw it in the oven, chef. So we're back with Chef Chef. Hey, Bonnie, he's carving up his turkey. It's dark meat turkey that he rolled around, a beautiful mushroom stuffing. And he is rocking an electric knife that I'm quite afraid of. <laughs> but you say you actually, you actually use one? I have an electric one? knife at home and I use it once a year on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. I don't know, right it's just something. Yes. Yes. My new thing, Yes. Sir, on the cutting on the board. Cutting board. You know what's really great? You get all the love juices yeah. and if you have some good crusty bread, you just mm. mop it right off the cutting board.